In this video, we'll write the formula for iron 3 oxalate. So the first thing we'll do, we'll write the element symbol for iron, which is just Fe. And we know that Fe is a transition metal. Its charge here is 3 plus because they tell us, they give us the Roman numeral 3. So we have that information. Oxalate, that's one you might not see as often. We know that it's a polyatomic ion. It ends in ATE. So if you haven't memorized the formula for the oxalate ion, you could look it up on a table of polyatomic ions if you're allowed to do that. Let's look it up. So as I look down my list here is, here's the oxalate ion. It's C2O4 2 minus. So I have the oxalate ion C2O4 2 minus. So C2O4 2 minus. And that 2 minus it applies to the whole ion here. So at this point we know we have a metal here with the iron in a group of nonmetals. So because of that, we have metal and nonmetals. This is going to be ionic. We have to get these charges here to balance. The way we can do that is use something called the crisscross method. It makes it a little bit easier. We can move the two here, the three out here. Let's get rid of these symbols. And then we need to put parentheses around our oxalate ion like that. This is the formula for iron three oxalate, Fe2, C2O4, three. Let's check our work though, make sure we got this. We said iron, it's gonna have that three plus ionic charge, the whole oxalate ion, two minus. Three times two minus, that's six minus. Two times three plus is six plus. Net charge is zero. This is the correct formula for iron three oxalate. This is Dr. B with the formula for iron three oxalate. Thanks for watching.